Welcome to League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Kindred, the Eternal Hunters. Have they forgotten us yet, little lamb? All still know us, though they try to forget. Soon, we will remind them. Kindred is the manifestation of death on Runeterra, and can only be seen in life's final moments. Lamb, the compassionate half, offers a merciful passing to those who accept death, killing victims with a swift and true arrow. Wolf, Kindred's savage and brutal side, terrorizes those who run from death, chasing and devouring their souls. In-game, Kindred plays the role of a mobile marksman who thrives in the jungle. They know will come. Yet they are never prepared. Kindred's passive is Mark of the Kindred. By clicking on a champion icon in the special bar displayed above Kindred's inventory, Lamb marks a target for death, though it does take a few seconds to arm. The mark does nothing on its own, but if Kindred kills or helps kill the marked target, they gain a permanent and stackable buff on their basic attacks. Lamb can switch targets every couple minutes, though once a marked target bites the dust, Kindred won't be able to reapply the mark to them for a few minutes. It's not just Lamb who can apply a mark of the Kindred. Wolf randomly marks certain enemy jungle camps. As soon as Wolf's mark activates, it'll alert all players in the game, giving the enemy team plenty of opportunities to defend their chickens, rocks, or whatever else the big bad wolf is hungering for. Wolf sets his sights on a new target every few minutes. To prevent either team from gaining information they don't deserve, Wolf's marks don't disappear until several seconds after the camp's been cleared. While of course you want to farm marked champions to get a bunch of passive stacks, you can also play mind games with your opponents by marking lanes you're not planning on ganking to divert attention away from your true target. Kindred's Q is Dance of Arrows, a short-range vault that ends with Lamb firing an arrow at up to three nearby enemies. Despite it being a short-range dash, Lamb can jump over walls with Dance of Arrows, making counter-jungling much safer. Kindred's W is Wolf's Frenzy. Passively, Wolf's Frenzy builds up stacks as Kindred moves about the map. Once Kindred hits max stacks, Lamb's next basic attack heals them. Whenever Kindred activates Wolf's Frenzy, Wolf splits away from Lamb and claims a medium-sized area for a few seconds. Wolf fights independently inside this area, but will focus his attacks on whomever Lamb is shooting. But if Lamb leaves Wolf's Frenzy, Wolf will pack up shop and rejoin his woolly pal. Also, the cooldown on Dance of Arrows is massively reduced while in Wolf's Frenzy, regardless of which ability you hit first. You'll always want to fight inside Wolf's Frenzy, so use the reduced cooldown on Dance of Arrows to stay in the zone and get your damage on. Next up is Kindred's E, Mounting Dread, a heavy targeted slow that applies an additional debuff to its target. If Lamb's able to attack them three times in quick succession, Wolf lunges out to deal percent max health damage. Mounting Dread is great for starting your gank. It's also really useful when you're facing tanky jungle monsters. Finally, Kindred's ultimate is Lamb's Respite, a large blessed zone that prevents all living things inside of it, ally, neutral, and enemy, from dying. Kindred casts Lamb's Respite on a target ally, blessing the ground beneath them, and while everything inside it can still lose health, once they get down to about 10%, they become immune to all further damage. Lamb's Respite only safeguards the lives who stay inside it, so as soon as you're pulled, kicked, busted, or headbutted out, well, you're gonna be eligible for death right away. Lamb's Respite lasts about four seconds, and as it ends, it heals up everything inside of it by a flat amount. Use Lamb's Respite to save vulnerable allies, or even yourself, from death. With smart timing, you can keep your low health pals ticking for longer while they whittle down the enemy team. Kindred is a pretty complicated champion, combining the hard parts of marksman, junglers, and even bard. 
With that in mind, here are some neat little tricks to help you out in your first few games. Kindred's pretty squishy compared to most other junglers, and especially early on, can lose so much health to jungle camps that they'll be forced back early. But not if you're smart. Unlike pretty much every other jungler out there, Kinder can stay on the move and use abilities, especially Wolf's Frenzy and Dance of Arrows, to kite jungle creatures while they whittle them down. Just don't go so far out that you reset the camp back to full health. When fighting jungle monsters, pay attention to their patience level right above their health bar. If it empties and turns red, they'll retreat and heal back up. It's like a backwards narbar for not fighting. An awesome side effect of kiting jungle camps is that you'll also build up stacks of your W passive. Whenever it's maxed out, attack something nearby while you move to your next camp to heal up and resume stacking. Don't worry about fighting whatever you attack, you don't have to. Just carry on your journey with a little more health than you had before. Marking enemy champions is totally unique to Kindred, so it's pretty easy to forget to use it. Keep a constant eye out for enemies you can mark, and pay attention to the enemy jungle for opportunities to claim even more stats. Here's your basic ganking pattern. Get in behind your opponent, tag them with Mounting Dread, activate Wolf's Frenzy, and enjoy your hilariously low Dance of Arrows cooldown. Though Cinder tries to set up a stun, being ranged has benefits, and Lamb refuses to get kited. Getting Mark of the Kindred stacks is important, but don't make the mistake of thinking they're your only way to scale into late game. Risky invades without vision or risky dives will often just put you further behind, so farm safely until you spy a mark you know you can secure. Here's Kindred going off to collect a mark the right way, with friends! Because the enemy team will always know which monster wolf is marked, they're much more likely to contest the camp, so bring your pals and expect a fight. Leeson apparently didn't watch the champion spotlight and makes the exact mistake we just cautioned against. Not only does Kindred pick up the Gromp and the Mark, but also a few hundred gold. Lamb's Respit saves everyone from death, so whoever wins the fight often comes down to who plays best around the end of the ultimate. Rengar's about to do Rengar things, so Kindred hits the big red button as he attacks. Aurelia times the end of it and bursts Rengar to turn the fight around. From here, the heal at the end allows them to continue fighting and pick up two more kills. Let's try again on a larger scale. Brom flashes and misses his ultimate, leaving Kindred and Vayne totally exposed to the enemy flank. Lamb's respite comes out just as Vayne's about to die, allowing time to regroup and whittle down the enemy front line. Right as it ends, the two marksmen bolt out of range and kill off their assailants. Incredibly, none of Kindred's allies die in this fight. Thanks for tuning in to the Kindred Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel and leave us your comments just below the video. Is this where it feels like to end? I do not know, for this is not our end. Do others come back? Those who do, wish they hadn't.